Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we'll talk to an entrepreneur with foresight. He was testing before testing was cool. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, there have been testing labs for, for decades, but most of us didn't pay any attention to testing because we didn't need to. Then COVID comes along, and now all of us are getting used to being tested. Someone who knows a lot about that is uh, Justin Simons. He is the uh, founder and CEO of My Labs Direct. Thanks yeah, for coming on the thanks, show. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. Well, you were sharing with me before the show that you got a call from a friend who advised you to get some masks. Yeah. And this was very early on. Tell that story. Um, so my medical director, Dr. Francis Gannon at the Baylor College of Medicine, uh, before COVID really started, he contacted me and said, hey, I want to have dinner with you. And this is in November of 2019. So um, I met with Dr. Gannon and he told me, hey, I, I want you to do something. I want you to go and get these things called an N95 mask. And he said, do it right now, do it on Amazon. And I got on there and they were starting to sell out. I was like, oh my gosh, there's something to this. You know, um, Baylor College of Medicine, world renowned institution, they're kind of on the forefront of what's going on um, in epidemiology and pathology and all these things. So I uh, went to Lowe's the next day and bought a couple boxes of these masks. And lo and behold, Dr. Gannon was right. And he has kind of been right. So fortunate to have him on our team as our medical director. And um, certainly didn't think it was gonna become what it, became it, you know, COVID is a uh, pandemic, but. When did it dawn on you? I mean, for me, uh, when I woke up one morning and Mark Cuban was uh, canceling Mavericks games, I was like, oh my God, uh, sporting uh, events. I mean, did, did it, when did it dawn on you that this uh, will impact my business? Um, I, you know, I was really reluctant to launch into COVID for a few reasons. Ho I was hoping that like all of us, this was just a fad. It was going to come and go. Um, it was, you know, honestly, probably at the point doctors that we were serving for as a blood lab as core to our business, it was when we were told they were shut down and unable to start or continue sending blood testing because patients weren't able to go into um, their practices. That was kind of when it hit me because, you know, we were kind of a holdout. We didn't want to run COVID initially. It became a necessary evil for us and we had the capability. So we were like, look, if we're going to keep the doors open, keep our people employed, we're not getting blood testing. We're going to probably have to look at this COVID thing. And that's, you know, a few months into the year, like first quarter, that's when the reality set in that this was something that we needed to look at. And a critical sponsorship or partnership that you have is with Baylor. We found a wonderful video that Baylor created. Let's go ahead and roll that now. I think it's going to be a really long-standing, fruitful relationship. Um, working with the leadership at Baylor has been amazing. The university has partnered with My Labs Direct and has opened a multi-million dollar COVID-19 testing lab. I think what's most exciting is the really the opportunity to kind of advance some of the research initiatives we have at My Labs Direct with Baylor University. The lab sits in the 330,000 square foot Baylor Research and Innovation Collaborative Facility. We're a very high touch type of uh, operation. We do care, we're considerate about what we're doing. And I think that's where we aligned in many ways with Baylor. It's one of the largest testing labs owned by a university with no affiliated medical school. It will allow the university to operate at least three on-campus testing sites with the ability to conduct up to 150,000 diagnostic tests from January through May. In addition to these tests, the lab can also process up to 8,000 daily community tests and results will be available within just 24 hours. It's really um, seeing it not just for the benefits it provides in helping eradicate COVID 
um, in, in making this a more safe environment, both on Baylor's campus and throughout McLennan County through local businesses that we're able to support with excess capacity. So why Baylor? With college students, we see um, a greater probability of asymptomatic carriers um, and just kind of the, the way college kids interact socially. Um, I think that by implementing, you know, widespread testing um, across campus, uh, we're helping identify infection a lot earlier in those populations and keeping people safer. And you put that together in 60 days? 60 days, yeah. So we, we were originally um, contracted by the athletic department. Uh, now the head coach at Texas Tech, Joey McGuire, at the time was the assistant head football coach. And he contacted me and said, hey, we're having trouble with the large lab chains and getting our turnaround times. Could you guys come down and help us? And so we were blessed. We got a chance to go down there and help the athletic department. Um, and that eventually led to a contract with the university. So that semester, we only did 10% of the campus population. Um, and then at the end of that semester, things went pretty well. I was contacted by the the really the provost and the president's council and they asked hey could you guys take on a hundred percent of our student body and my reaction was like no <laughs> there's no way we didn't have the capacity and so we looked at everything together we joined as a partnership and i said why don't we create a joint venture lab build it in the research facility it can also after covid we can break this stuff down and, and repurpose it for faculty research and so we signed a deal with the university and um in, this was also a, a point it was over the holidays so we, at wow. the end of uh, the year like in November we signed our contract and we had to stand that up inside of 60 days and have our lab ready to go not only that but now think logistically we were doing 10 percent of the campus population in one testing location on campus we now had to spread that to five locations automate people coming through the tents and not disrupting class schedules so it was a pretty masterful pull together on both parts, Baylor and our team, and, and uh, so blessed to have been able to pull that together and go live by January 14th and test all these I kids. I think I would have had a pan. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you maintain oh. your, your cool, calm, and collected to, to lead your company? I, I think, you know, having amazing people mm -hmm. around me and then oh, faith, honestly, uh, just that it was going to work out. And so, uh, you know, my sister's my partner, COO, and she's my big sis, so I knew that she had that handled. and. Uh, the people on our team are so exceptional, so I, I can't take credit. Um, there to kind of see some things and oversee things and you know, point guys in the right direction, but ultimately it's a team of people that came together, and honestly our business is about that, is a real good group of people. Well, the media has recognized your success. We're going to show a D Magazine uh, article that was written uh, just a little while ago, and I've seen you on all the local stations. Um, it, it, what is that like? I mean, before COVID, you certainly weren't like a, a media star. <laughs> what, has that been an adjustment? Um, yeah, I'd say so. It's been kind of exciting to get the word out about the organization, about the company, and kind of what we're trying to do. Uh, certainly, as we'd mentioned, or you and I talked about before the show, it's my Labs Direct wasn't built out of COVID testing. It was, you know, a design around creating better access to a cash alternative to insurance diagnostic testing, uh, where we'll come to people's homes and test them and just make it easy, cash affordable type of testing. And so um, that's been a good thing. But yeah, it's, it's been exciting um, to get the word out about what we do. And I should uh, let you know, this is very personal for Justin. Uh, he shared with me just before we went on that he lost his father to COVID. Do you yeah. mind sharing that story? Yeah, it's a tough one. So um, I lost my dad uh, three weeks ago to COVID. So he, uh, he and my mom, I can tell the story real quickly. They, they were on a little RV trip and they were down in Arizona from where they live in Washington state. And my dad started to feel ill. He didn't tell any of us kids or my mom um, and said, hey, let's get home. And my mom was like, okay. So they started driving home and they got as far as a little town called Mountain Home, Idaho, just south of Boise. And he couldn't go any further. They pulled over at an RV park and um, talking to him, it was like, I think I've just, you know, I've got a cold or something. I'm just tired. And so um, I was a little suspicious, obviously. And um, I called in a couple rapid at-home test kits, had them door dash to his, tra uh, to his RV in the RV park and got on FaceTime with him. And that's the first time I'd seen him and I could tell he wasn't doing very well. Um, he tested positive and so I hung up the phone. I said, don't panic. Uh, I called my sister and we organized to get an ambulance to their RV and uh, they 
tested his pulse ox or his oxygen levels were down at like 82. So they rushed him to the hospital. My mom also um, was sick, so she had COVID. That was scary for me as well because my mom has had a chronic cough for nearly 30 years, undiagnosed. So I was like, this is bad. I'm going to lose both of my parents. Well, um, she was early enough in infection. Um, she got tested. I got her scheduled for a monoclonal antibody treatment um, and neither were vaccinated. Uh, she got her treatment, turned the corner and did fine. My dad was admitted into the hospital and then eventually transferred to Boise to St. Luke's Hospital. Amazing, by the way, the, the healthcare workers, the doctors were uh, exceptional. Um, but he was transferred to a, a surgical ICU where he stayed and fought COVID for nearly a month. And then finally just, uh, it overtook him. So it's, it's been pretty tragic and honestly just surreal. Still hard to... I'm so sorry for your loss. And, and, and trying to lead a company with all the stresses that you have already. And yeah. yeah. So that, that's been, you know, I, honestly a good uh, way to deflect and to kind of immerse myself in the business, the operations, and it helps kind of suppress a lot of the emotion of what we're dealing with sure. as a family. So, where where do you see all of this headed? I mean, uh, knock on wood, at some point we get past all the variants and it becomes like a seasonal flu. Uh, what happens to your company after COVID kind of winds down? I, I honestly think we can get back on base with what we intended on doing when we built my Labs Direct, and that is again uh, bringing better access to blood diagnostics, genetics, um, all these different tests that we have uh, access to at the laboratory um, so we feel like we're in a good position if nothing else the benefit COVID has provided us is that we can introduce our brand to the consumer and show them that hey we're, we're gonna work hard for you we're dedicated we're backed by university science we're a real lab something that people need to understand in this industry with laboratories is there's a lot of groups out there that are brokering lab services, whether it's a testing site or it's an at-home testing service, they're not actually vertically integrated as a lab. And so we want people to understand the quality of what we can provide um, from end to end, both from a service perspective, all the way through processing the labs ourselves and being held accountable. Outstanding. Well, Justin, thank you so much for taking the time and sharing your story. We're going to end with the website, which is mylabsdirect.com. Justin, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.